Hi there haulers, today we're gonna to be taking a look and showing you how to use Kurt's two inch draw bar with a six inch drop and a four inch rise. And this is what our ball mount looks like when it's installed. Since we're working with a Civic here that has a hitch that hits so low to the ground, we've got it in the rise position here. And what that's gonna do for us is raise our ball up high enough so when we hook to a trailer, we can haul our trailer at a nice level plane. If we were to just put it in here as it was, our trailer would be dipped down really far and that would really change the way the weight is loaded on our trailer and it could make it less safe to drive like that. So we wanna make sure we've got it appropriate so we can haul properly. And now over here on our truck, this sits up significantly higher than what our Civic did there. So if we put it in here in the rise position like this, it's gonna be way too high. We would wanna install it in the drop position like this here. And then when you would put your ball in place, you would install it the other way. We're gonna show you how to get your ball attached to your draw bar. Your ball here doesn't come included with the draw bar, but we've got plenty of different balls available here at E-Trailer. Just make sure you pick one with a one inch shank so it works with a one inch hole in our draw bar. So here we have our draw bar here. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do with your draw bar when you get it is determine how you're gonna be using this. Are you gonna use this with a, a truck, maybe one that's got potentially lifted suspension? Are you gonna be using this with a smaller car, something that sits pretty low to the ground? That's gonna determine how you install your ball. If you install your ball like this, this is gonna be the drop position, lowering the ball down from your hitch, so that way you can achieve a nice level pull on your trailer. And if you're in a smaller vehicle, we got a Honda Civic that we're working on today, and that's what we're gonna be putting this on. We we'll wanna put it in the rise position. Since it sits so low to the ground, we need to raise our ball up so our trailer can ride level. We're gonna be using this ball here from Kurt. It is part number 40038. It has a one inch shank, so it matches up with the one inch hole here in our draw bar, so it's gonna be a great match. Now, one of the things about this ball, though, it is a little overkill for this particular draw bar as this is rated for 12,000 pounds. Our draw bar here is only rated for 7,500 pounds in the drop position or 6,000 pounds in the rise position. And whenever you're t pulling or towing, you always have to go by your lowest rated component. So even though this guy's rated for 12,000, our limit is gonna be 6,000. And it may be even less depending on the vehicle that you're using. If that vehicle's not rated for that much towing, then you're limited by your vehicle. So let's go ahead and get this in the rise position because that's what our vehicle is going to need that we're installing it on. So I just like to slide it through. We'll flip it over here, drop our lock washer in place, and then put our nut on there. Once we've got it about hand tight like this, we're going to head over to the vise where we can hold our ball in place and i like to do it like this it's got two flat spots on this particular ball and this way we can kind of line those flat spots up i think it looks a little better that way and now we're just going to grab our torque wrench here and torque this down if you need a torque wrench you can get one here at e-trailer you are going to need for a one inch shank you're going to need one that goes up to at least 250 pounds so you'll want the half inch drive one that we've got available here at e-trailer and then depending on the ball that you choose it can vary a little bit. So if you're using the same one as us here, we're gonna be using a one and a half inch socket to tighten it down. And that is pretty much the standard for most of them. So now that we've showed you how to get your ball installed, we've got it ours in the rise position here. Our shank here is a nine and a quarter inch. So that's the distance that our shank is here. So that'll give you an idea of how far it's gonna stick out. We do have longer shanks if you were to need one to give you more clearance against the bumper. This is more useful typically when you're in the rise position because you gotta worry about that bumper there. We're just gonna secure it with a five eighths inch hitch pin and clip. This does not come included with our ball. And at this point now, we're ready to load up our trailer. Now your new ball here, it is a good practice to put some lubrication on here. Uh, just some chassis grease works out really well, and that can just help extend the life of your ball. For demonstration purposes here, we're not gonna be putting that on there today. So here we've got our Civic, and we've got our Civic owner's trailer here. It's a small kayak trailer. It's gonna be great for his Civic. We'll simply make sure the latch is open on our coupler, and then drop it down on our ball. Well then, latch it in place. You may have a small lock on here. We're gonna pull our lock pin off there. 
lock it, and then put our lock pin back in place if you do have one. We'll then hook up the rest of our components, which will include our wiring for the lights at the back of our trailer, as well as our safety chains. When hooking up safety chains, it is good practice to cross your chains. So put the chain attached to the driver's side of the trailer on the passenger side of the hitch. Now, if you have any jack legs or anything like that, you wanna make sure you put those up. And at this point, we're ready to hit the road. And that completes our look at Kurt's two inch draw bar with a six inch drop and a four inch rise.